so today we are checking into the Como Shambhala estate in Ubud. Um, they've just given me a little welcome drink, which is cucumber, mint, honey, and ginger. So, cheers! Let's go! So our room isn't actually ready at Como. We have decided to kill some time, head into Ubud for lunch. We're gonna go to a place called Three Monkeys, which has been recommended, so I'm excited. I'm actually excited to get some non-vegan food today because we've, since we've been eating vegan every day. Um, I was also gonna say, we were speaking to one of the drivers uh, in, in the car the other day, and he was talking about uh, barley and its size. So barley is actually 5,780 kilometers squared, and he said that there are eight million Million bikes here and four million cars so there's quite uh, there's a lot of vehicles in in Bali and the traffic can get quite bad so even though you're driving short distances for example from Seminyak to Ubud it can take quite a long time especially with the traffic and also the speeds because the roads are quite narrow and you can't drive that fast um, but the good thing is that everyone that does drive here especially the locals they're they're really careful and safe drivers so you, even though it's a little bit crazy there's not very many accidents. When there are accidents, it's mainly Westerners or tourists that have hired bikes um, that don't know how to drive or they get a little bit too confident and they go too fast. But yeah, I've noticed that everyone's really careful and uh, yeah, it's pretty safe. conveniently next to the monkey forest so if you're a little bit hungry after you've been to the monkey forest um, this could be a little option for you so it's not raw vegan they've got cooked food here I'm actually very excited to have some like proper cooked food today um, of different meat dishes so I've ordered the burger um, it's really really fancy some meat they've got soups they've got salads they've got noodles and um, what else have they got different drinks and it's just a really nice calm setting set on the, like a mini rice field covered in greenery so yeah it's very calming I'm liking it so far recommend this place I really enjoyed it the staff were really friendly the food was very tasty and the prices were also reasonable as well so yeah all in all a success we are just gonna walk a little bit around Ubud it is pouring well it just stopped pouring down with rain so uh, it is a little bit wet outside but I do want to check out a couple of the shops around here so we're gonna check out a couple of the shops and then we should be able to head back to Como to check into our room so I'm excited to do that right near three monkeys um, is a watercress and the watercress was actually also recommended to us it looks pretty cool we're not going in today so obviously we've just eaten but it looks really nice oh no it's still pouring down with rain but we need to find a taxi because we need to go to our hotel. But luckily there are taxis pretty much everywhere. Oh, I think she's just spotted one right there. So shopping was cut short because it's just still pouring down the rain. So we've just decided to get a taxi. Um, and taxis from Ubud pretty much to every hotel have cost around a hundred thousand Indonesian rupees. Sometimes you get it less for around 70 to 80 but usually it's around 100. So we're gonna head back to the hotel and uh, hopefully we can find some cool things to do indoors. Rainy Bali.
so we just got to our villa as you can see we are literally in the middle of the jungle whoa look at this view it's insane this is our room so you walk in to a main central area where you've got two cupboards in the back you've got a little couch in the middle and you get fresh fruit every single day so we've got some mangosteen, some bananas, some lychees and I don't know if that's like a mini pomelo or an orange but yeah and if you walk straight that is the main bedroom I mean you get all the bright light coming in here in the day and in the morning you can actually open these windows as well um, and you can kind of look out look how deep whoa it goes so far down there's the river over there too and then if you walk through the rest of the room you've got your sort of dressing area and bathroom so you have one sink over here one sink over here we've got our luggage over there and the bathroom's in there and this leads onto the shower so it's here we your soaps and then amazing you have a bath which is literally outside and then in the corner over there is like a little seating area so that is the room tour for you guys I've actually booked in a massage for 5.45 Koma Shambhala have a really cool spa so um, as it's raining outside I wanted to do things that were inside so I think the spa is a very good idea see the mist um, after the rain as it's passing by it's so calming so I've actually been put in for a Como Shambhala estate massage so that's kind of like their signature massage over here um, but they have got uh, so many different treatments um, they've got ayurvedic treatments they've got um, hydrotherapy they've even got a hydrotherapy mobilization treatment as well but this whole retreat is actually a wellness retreat so they've got different programs from like oriental medicine stress management they've got be active uh, treatment there's just so many different things and what i would suggest is if you are interested in checking out what they have to offer just head over to their website and you'll get a full list of everything they have to offer. I'm about to head in for my massage and I'm looking forward to it. So this is my room. This is where I'm going to have my signature massage. Um, so the massage actually uses a calming oil that consists of geranium and lavender. So I should be, I should hopefully be relaxed after this 60 minute massage. I'll let you know how it goes. The massage is over. I feel so relaxed. It was really nice. I don't usually book myself in for massages so it was like a nice little treat after two weeks of running around like a crazy person um, definitely needed that because I feel like yeah like I said it's been it's been pretty mental so it's nice to sort of just switch off I actually fell asleep as well it was that relaxing so yeah I would recommend that signature massage it was great I just got back to my room from the spa. Uh, it's quite, well, it's about seven in the evening now, 7.15, 7.30. Um, we're not gonna really do too much this evening, but tomorrow I will give you guys a proper tour of the Como Shambhala estate. Uh, today was sort of a chill one, and because it was raining, we were obviously limited. So I'm probably just gonna do some editing now and probably hit the bed very, very early. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Tomorrow will be better, it's gonna be more exciting, but at least you got a little glimpse into where we are staying um, and also you have another idea of where to eat three monkeys 
there's a little little uh, idea for you so um, I'm gonna switch off the vlog I will see you guys in the morning if you liked it let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one bye